Hey everybody, I just wanted to make sure that you were um doing okay today. Hope everyone's well. I wanted to uh follow up on the squat rack, the homemade do it yourself squat rack. Remember that? Well I wanted to pass something on to you. Uh when you do start working out, you may want to uh invest in uh um weightlifting belt. So the kind of varying styles of belt that you can use. I know back in the day I started with something like this. Uh, not necessarily the brand, but the style of belt. We had Velcro on it. And it also had, you know, the little roller. Everyone's familiar with this. Well, anyways, this served a purpose well for, for a while. But as you start lifting heavier weight and get more serious as far as needing more support for your, your back your um your core this may not be the way to go if you're doing some moderate exercise maybe this may be the way to go velcro but um for me it wasn't it, it got the job done for a while but then you know as i got i progressed further and wound up doing um competing in powerlifting meets and things of that nature you want to step up in your belts and the quality of your belt so that you can have support and not hurt yourself. Now, when you're looking for a belt, this roller here is something you want to look at. Uh, a cheaper belt is going to have a roller that's basically metal folded, you know, a folded piece of metal, and you're going to see a break in there, the separation. Okay, you're going to see that in a lot of the belts that aren't necessarily designed for a lot of heavy usage. Okay, so like I said, this may be like a beginner belt. And I, like I said, I use that for a while. And then you have another type of belt. This is actually made by the same company. Um, this is a little bit better because it seems to be sturdier. You have leather, has padding on the inside. That's pretty nice. And um, I actually, I used this one briefly. Also, um, let's look at the front. Okay, you notice how the buckle is made. You have the, you have two here versus the one. And if you look at closely at the roller, the roller is indeed one solid piece of metal. Okay, so this is a step up. You're going to get padding in the back. You're going to get a lot more support for your back. It's going to be more comfortable and durable. You don't have Velcro. You actually have, you know, the, you're going to actually have to adjust the belt. You're going to have to lock it in. And that way you have more support. So this is a better belt than the first one we looked at. And again, I'm not a... Uh, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but this is just some information I wanted to share since I showed you my squat rack. Let me show you the belt choices, okay? So pretty much beginner, kind of intermediate. Uh, as I got into heavier lifting and decided to start competing, I guess back in 20, 2010 or, or 2009, then I wound up getting a belt like this because I saw a lot of the power lifters and the heavy duty weight lifters were utilizing belts like this so i went to titan support systems website and i bought this belt i bought this belt like maybe in 2010 i want to say titan support systems um i'm not a paid advertiser but i will tell you this belt has gotten it done for me gave me a lot of support if you look at the design you can see how large the roller is you can see um it's durable is well made. This belt is held up over time. Um, it's also is also super thick. I think at the time I bought this, this was the thickest belt that was allowed. Uh, so this was a a serious design. And back in the day, I think I paid like sixty or seventy dollars. A belt similar to this now is going to cost you about, I would imagine, about one hundred and twenty dollars. But at any rate, it definitely gave me enough support is if you want to um, maybe try powerlifting or weightlifting or you want to take the next step and you're squatting heavier weight, then you want to kind of upgrade your belt so that you can stay safe, sent yourself in, um, get professional instruction and also um, go slow, learn what you're doing. But definitely, if you want to get a belt, be careful. You don't want to get hurt. Get something that's going to support you. It's not always about uh, finding the cheapest belt or the 
the best deal. Sometimes it's about being safe and getting something that's going to help you out so that you can live long and be healthy and safe. So again, just look at what you're trying to do and just take this, my little two cents, just consider that for a few minutes before you make your choice. Good luck. Keep lifting on your homemade squat rack. And by the way, I want to show you one more thing. Everything I showed you on the squat rack, same thing applies to your pull-up bar. So don't forget, you can also do a pull-up bar the same way as you did your do-it-yourself squat rack. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Have a good day.